Hello guys, today I am going to show you on how to create an environment map inside Adopt P After Effects with Elements 3D. So let's get started. I create a new composition and I rename it with main composition. Sorry. So the size is one. The size is full HD, 1080, and my frame rate is 25 second per second. And the duration is depending on your project. So click OK. So the next step is I'm going to create a new solid layer. Well, layer new solid and rename it to element 3d so i can put element 3d effect in it so click ok so i go into effect and video copilot element so that's it at all so this time you are going to import the environment image to your project so i surf in the goal here i have this image i recommend it to use a 4k images to put into your project so i just simply import it in so and put it into our composition just uh, scale it down to our composition side okay I scale it down and in photo to make it uh, editable I pre-compose it and rename it to environment map so yeah okay and then click OK so our map has been created be back to our main composition and we'll edit we'll work with Elman 3D so I have two main composition here I have to delete one Okay, back to our main project. So hide it in and we go back to Element 3D. I go into custom layer. I will uh, <coughs> uh, import my environment map to be the maps in Element 3D. So ready. So we back into our scene setup. So this time to create a uh, environment, I choose the square, square right here, and I put I uh, scale it up a bit. This square is going to to hold in our environment map. So we go into uh, I put a diffuse color diffuse and I choose diffuse map. Say OK. So I uh, I choose the diffuse side and diffuse and I use diffuse and intensity I punch it up to one hundred. So that's it. So I put it into group 2 and uh, for example I am going to uh, uh, use an object to make it simple in here an object will be used in the same in map in our composition as we have set it as the default already so I choose our in map and that's it so okay so now we have our in map so the next step is I am going to play with the size of the environment map environment map and I go to into group one and just make sure that I can see the clock. I I include the size of the C space and make it into the middle. Okay, so I am going to increase the size of our environment map. Okay, so sorry. I have a bit problem with spelling in Verma map. So we as we have a new camera right here, we can rotate it, we can zoom it out and you can see the object of object is reflected to our environment as well. So for example is I want to to uh, to color correction with uh, the object my object clock I, I have to correct uh my environment map too. So that's here. Uh, for example, so if I uh, another tip is I am going to blur out my environment map. So I go to environment and I go to flat fast blur, drag it in and take it to 20 to see that if it fits in my work. So there it is. Mm, the next step is um, I'm going to give you another example of when I want to color correct 
the object only the clock in my composition so if I going to pick up the curves and drag it in so I will uh, I will uh, correct both of the object in the element 3d so that's what I'm I need so I just duplicate my element uh, element layer choose edit duplicate and go to the element 2 the element underneath and go to the group 1 and this uh, disable it and I'll go back to the element above and go to group 2 and disable my environment map so when I pick up the curl and correct it yeah I can correct only the clock and it is the object that I need to correct so here guys uh, how to create environment in element 3d and so if you don't like uh, element 3d and hope you enjoy it so see you next time